But any decision between the two states could well hinge on a separate Supreme Court decision more than a century old. The state and a pair of Oklahoma tribes are still squabbling whether the Chickasaw and Choctaw nations have legal rights to the water in their historic territories in southeastern Oklahoma. Neil McCaleb is with the Chickasaw Nation. They're taking our water without asking us permission. McCaleb says under what is commonly referred to as the Winner's Doctrine, the Supreme Court ruled tribes' water rights exceeds those of others in times of water shortage. Well, the issue is uh, the decision to allocate or permit the water that's been contracted for by the Oklahoma Water Resources Board has been without consultation with the Chickasaw and Choctaw Nations who feel that they have a superior and prior claim to the water. Yet when the Apache tribe of Oklahoma went to federal court to sell water to Texas, they were unsuccessful property right of the tribe and they don't want it diminished. Uh, they've seen their estate and their properties diminished over the years because they did not assert their, their just and reasonable rights. And so they want to do that. Uh, I don't want to say money is of no consequence, but that's not the driving force. That's not the driving interest. And as a matter of fact, the tribes are doing very well financially without selling any water. Now some caution that the more broadly tribes seek to assert their rights, the greater the risk that the federal courts will trim earlier rulings establishing Native American rights. Now currently both sides have been issued stays in a lawsuit filed in 2011 in an effort to negotiate a settlement rather than litigate one. When we return, a Red River rivalry that has nothing to do with football.